Hi, I'm Rosie Conley and I'm here with Inglot today. And if you want to see how to take your look from this to this, then just keep watching. So it's time for me to reveal my new facial tanning oil. It was super important for me to create something that not only gives a beautiful glow to the skin, but is also great on sensitive skin and doesn't clog your pores. And also we've created a beautiful tanning brush which matches perfectly with the oil and they're the super duo together. So for more of a natural tan, I would say apply two to three drops onto the skin. If you want something a little bit darker, you can go for three to four drops. I like to apply it with a brush, but you can, of course, apply it with your hands as well. Uh, what I love about it is the olive tone that it gives. It's such a really nice natural glow and blends beautifully into the skin too. So I'm just gonna take Latte Glow and Honey Glow to create the perfect mix. You can always mix your shades, so don't be afraid to do that to get the right color for yourself. And then I'm gonna pop this onto the skin with my brush. You can also use your hands if you want to. So next I'm gonna go in with our 365 Skin Perfector. I'm actually gonna mix some soft glow with our champagne bronze to create the perfect look. So I'm gonna mix them again with the same brush. And if you do like to apply your makeup with your hands, again, you can use your hands for this. And I'm gonna go in and start to work this and press it into the skin. This is gonna give a beautiful soft base but without covering up the skin too much. So it's just soft glow and champagne bronze mixed together. And again, I'm just working that into the skin, patting it in. So that's our 365 Perfector done and blended into the skin, so we're gonna move on. So I'm gonna go in with my Caramel Cream Bronzer now, and these are so beautiful on the skin. They're really, really natural, give a gorgeous olive glow. You can see how easy they blend into the skin and into the base, really natural and very easy to use as well if you're not a pro at makeup, these work really nicely. So next I'm gonna go in with our liquid blush and I'm gonna pop this onto the cheeks. You can obviously put it on directly onto your skin if you want, but on Katrina today, I'm just gonna put a little bit onto the palette and using the same brush from my brush collection and that we use for bronzer, I'm just gonna take a little bit and start to work that into the cheeks. So this is shade Pinched Crush. It's a beautiful peachy shade and just gives that lovely flushed look to the cheeks. So you can see I'm applying it a little bit higher here. I like to use this nearly as a highlighter because it has a gorgeous glow in it and really illuminates and lifts the skin. And I feel like blusher trends have changed as well and this seems to be the best place to apply your brush, blusher just to give your face a nice lift. So with liquid blush, you get a longer lasting finish because of the cream formula and it almost stains the skin. You can use it as a base and put powder over if you want to, or you can just use it on its own. So that's our liquid blush done. Um, they are a lot more long lasting because they are liquid finish as well. So they stain the skin and they're gonna last you all day. So next I'm gonna go in with our Afterglow Skin Palette in Champagne Glow. I'm just gonna add some powdered products just to set everything that we've done with our cream bronzers and our blusher and set the skin and just give an added little bit of a glow. You can also add some highlighter here as well at the end. Although her skin is already glowing with all the products we've popped on. It is important to set cream products if you want them to last you all day. So we're just reapplying the bronzer on top of where we've added our cream bronzer. I always like to add a little bit on the nose as well. It just gives that sun-kissed look. I think I need to turn this way. And then I'm gonna go in with our Peach Whip Blusher, which is the most beautiful pink. And I'm gonna add a little bit more, because I do love blusher, a little bit more on top of our liquid blush. So 
And again, a little bit on the nose, just to tie it all together. And then lastly, I'm gonna go in with highlighter. I'm actually gonna use my finger for this. This is Champagne Dew highlighter, and I'm going to pop it on to the very tops of the cheeks, just to add that extra shine to the skin and radiance, and it'll just, again, set everything into place. And it's nice to add a little bit on the cupid's bow for before we do our lips, and a little bit on the tip of the nose. So I'm gonna move on to Katrina's brows and I absolutely love this brow pencil. It is super, super natural. So you get gorgeous, really natural brush strokes. And what I love about it is it has a lovely cool tone. So it's quite universal for doing brows. And we also have the spoolie on this end, which is really important just for combing your brows into place and setting them. So I'm just using really light strokes just to fill in any gaps. And it's a really creamy formula as well, so super easy to apply. So to finish off our powder products, I'm gonna go in with our bronzed veil. These are amazing, they're multi-use products. So you've got your bronzer and your highlighters all in one. Um, they're great for no makeup days as well. You can kind of pop them on just on their own. But again, just to add a little bit of extra definition to the skin and that added glow that we love, I'm gonna pop this on. Again, just more onto the high points of the face. It has a lovely shimmer through, but it's really, really subtle. And it actually works really nicely then as well across the chest if you want to just add a little bit of extra glow. So now that we've finished the skin, I'm gonna set the skin with our afterglow mist. So just give it a shake and a couple of spritz and just let that set into the skin and that will give an extra glow and really set everything into place. So I'm gonna go in with my Peach Ambition palette. I've already popped on a really light base. Um, so I'm gonna to top it up and then we're gonna add a little bit more drama. I've used these two shades here, just mixed together to give a really nice, it's quite a pinky shade, but I love it as a kind of everyday base for your eye makeup. Or it's nice just on its own with a little bit of mascara and I'm going to use my brushes from my brush collection too this is a great one for blending all over the eye so I'm just blending this all over the eyes it's great as an everyday look as well if you don't want to go too heavy and I'm going to use this as the base for my eye makeup today And then I'm gonna take the same two shades underneath my eye as well. So next I'm gonna use my Copper Ambition palette and I'm gonna create a nice winged liner look using some of the darker shades here. So I'm gonna go in with, one of, again, one of my brushes from the uh, collection and I think I'm gonna take Brownie and Toasted Almond and mix these together just to create a little bit more smokiness on the outer parts of my eye. You don't need to be super precise with this because I'm gonna blend it as well into the rest of my eye, but it's just to add a little bit of definition. Take the same brush that I used to apply the base and just blend that out. And then I'm just going to take a little bit and pop it underneath the outer corner of my lower lash. Again, just to smoke out the edges. 
So next I'm going to go in with Deep Spice Cold Pencil just to darken up my eye. If you're not used to the gel liner and want something a little bit easier to use, this is a great one to use because it's super blendable. So I'm just going to go in and blend that out as well, just to soften the line. Again with one of my double-ended brushes from my collection. So I'm just going to take the liner and add it to my waterline as well, just to add a little bit of a pop really brings out the colour of your eyes. Next I'm going to take our Chestnut Gaze Gel Liner and I'm going to use this on my inner waterline just to sharpen it up slightly. So to add a little pop of glam, I'm gonna use our eye glaze. Um, this one is in shade Silk Gaze. And what I like to do is take a little bit on the back of my hand and then just use my fingers just to press this into the eyelid and add a really nice shimmer, which kind of takes your look from day to night really quickly. Next, I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply my Legendary Curl Mascara. Curling your lashes is always a good step just to really make the eyes pop. And then my mascara is incredible. This gives the eyes such definition and really wakes them up. It gives a gorgeous curl to the lashes as well. Lastly, I'm gonna add the rosy lash to finish off the look and add a little bit more glam. And to finish off the look, I'm gonna go in and do my lips. I'm gonna use my favorite trio, which is Deep Disclosure Lip Liner, Magical Nude Lipstick, and Luminous Nude Lip Glaze. Then I'm gonna go in with Magical Nude Lipstick. And to finish off the lips, I'm gonna go in with Luminous Nude in our lip glaze. 